Can you retire with just one stock and zero portfolio management? In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that faster than you thought was possible using the ETF SCHD. First, I want to tell you what this ETF is and how it picks the stocks you'd be investing in if you bought it. Then we're going to look at its past performance and based on that, we're going to run through some scenarios to see how you can use this one ETF to retire with $50,000 a year in dividend income. Simply put, SCHD invests in stocks or companies that are solid fundamentally, disciplined, and have a history of paying growing dividends. And it does this for a very low expense ratio of only 0.06%. That's actually 30% less than SPY's expense ratio. SCHD looks at a universe of over 2,500 stocks and picks what it considers to be the best of the best. Here you see that the stocks must meet certain liquidity requirements. They must have a market cap of over $500 million and they must have paid dividends for at least 10 consecutive years. If they fit that criteria, they are then ranked and receive a score based on their cash flow, debt, return on equity, yield, and their five-year dividend growth rate. Once a stock is added to this ETF, it's allowed to remain in it as long as it ranks in the top 200 companies. However, if it falls out of the top 200 in rank, it's then removed and replaced by the highest scoring stock until the portfolio reaches at least 100 stocks. Since companies are allowed to remain in the ETF as long as they're in the top 200, a critic of this ETF might say that it's missing out on more qualified stocks. However, this allowance, it does prevent excessive turnover and transaction costs, which might make it worth the sacrifice. The ranking of all its current and possible positions are reevaluated every year. SCHD favors value stocks because dividend yields are part of its selection criteria. However, dividend yield alone can increase its risk, but this ETF enforces strict fundamental requirements on each company to keep it out of trouble. The focus on each company's fundamentals ensures that it picks companies that will be able to pay continuing growing dividends. Its fundamental screening makes sure that the companies it picks are on firm financial footing. Even though it's picking very strong companies, it limits each stock to maximum position size of 4% and each sector to maximum size of 25% of the overall portfolio. Simply put, the companies in this ETF have dependable dividends and have paid those dividends for at least a decade. They're of sufficient size and are actively traded companies. The ETF then assures that each company has a strong balance sheet, good profitability, and a strong starting dividend. As such, I see the rules of this ETF to be extensive, straightforward, reasonable, and smart. When you're looking for one investment to last your entire life, these are all qualities that you want an investment to possess. Here you see a list of its top 10 holdings. They include the pharmaceutical companies Merck, Amgen, and then IBM, Pepsi, Lockheed Martin, Cisco Systems, Pfizer, Home Depot, Texas Instrument, and Coca-Cola. These are all solid, mature, and consistently profitable companies that pay nice dividends. Here on Seeking Alpha, which by the way, if you're interested in a membership with them, they've agreed to offer my viewers and patrons a substantial discount. So that discounted affiliate link is down in the description below. But here you see that financials make up the largest sector, coming in at just over 20%, followed by industrials and then technology. But it also includes consumer defensive, healthcare, and consumer cyclical. To a lesser degree, it has companies that are in the energy, communication, basic material, and a little bit of utility sectors. So it's a very diversified group of solid, mature, and consistently profitable companies. These are the kind of companies that I like to invest and trade in. So that all sounds great, but how has this ETF performed and can it really help you to retire faster? Let's check out its history. Here you see that SCHD has beaten the S&P 500 in every time frame and in every way except for the 10-year price return. However, when you figure in the total return, which includes dividends, SCHD has beaten the S&P 500 on every single time frame. What's interesting is that as you can see here on Yahoo Finance, this ETF is able to beat the S&P 500 total return and it does that with less volatility. So how can this ETF help you retire faster with absolutely no portfolio management and put at least $50,000 a year dividends into your pocket? Here you see our hypothetical scenario. First. Notice that SCHD's current yield is at 3.17%. Notice that over the past five years, that dividend has been growing on average at 13% per year. When we go out to the longer time frame, we see that in the blue box that over the past 10 years, the dividend has been growing at a rate of 11.8% per year on average. That's awesome for an ETF made up of companies that have a proven track record of being successful. Now let's go through our hypothetical scenario here. So in this scenario, we're saying that we're starting with $100,000 invested. 
as you can see here, currently, that pays us right at $3,166 a year in dividends. So let's figure out how much we need to have in order to get $50,000 a year in dividend income. First, let's turn dividend reinvestment on since we're not gonna be touching this money until we hit $50,000 a year in income. You see that by reinvesting those dividends, if we go out 20 years, we'd then be receiving $36,400 a year in dividends. So we're still a little short. The question is, how much do we need to contribute each month in order to get to $50,000 a year, and how fast can we get there? Now I'll change our annual contribution to $5,300 per year. Now, as you can see, by adding $5,300 a year to our initial $100,000 investment, in 20 years, our dividend income alone will be $50,000 a year. And remember, SCHD has a track record of growing its dividends by over 10% a year. So this income should continue to go up every year thereafter. But let's say you wanted to retire sooner than 20 years. Let's say you wanted to retire in 15 years. Notice now that in the blue box, that if you contribute $24,000 a year on top of your initial $100,000 investment, in 15 years, as you can see at the bottom right corner, your income will be over $50,000 a year. Let's run one more scenario. Let's say that our initial investment was $200,000 and we still contribute that $2,000 a month or $24,000 a year towards buying this ETF. Here you see that at the end of 20 years, our annual dividend income will be $134,000. And if you wanna be more or less aggressive in your dividend growth forecast, you can look at the box in the bottom left corner that will show you the corresponding income for each year based on that growth rate. And remember, this forecast is based on $200,000 initially invested and $24,000 a year contributed. Now, one thing that's nice about investing in a growth ETF like this is that on top of the dividend being able to fund your retirement, notice here that the value of the stock portfolio you own will have accumulated to right at a million dollars in 20 years. And this is with you contributing $100,000 up front and then $5,300 a year. So this is a very conservative and realistic investment goal. Investing this way is very simple and easy. With an ETF like SCHD, you can have a solid plan on how to retire early. Dividend growth is just one way that we generate massive cash flow every single month. Trading options is another important tool that we use. By trading options, it's very possible to realize your retirement goal a lot sooner than the time frames I mentioned in this video. If you'd like to get an alert as soon as we buy stocks and sell options, check out the benefits of becoming a patron down at the link in the description below. If you'd like to see how much option traders can make every month by trading options and collecting dividends, check out the video at the link above in the description below entitled Option Trading Monthly Cash Flows. Until next time, happy investing, and we'll see you again soon.